A lot of people are asking me what exactly is the right winger. So I'd like to take a moment now to describe what, what I believe the right winger is. Because after all, this is my website. And I don't speak for every right winger out there. I don't speak for every conservative out there. I don't speak for every Tea Party member out there. I just speak for myself, okay? This is one man's opinion. Basically, I established this website so that I could give a voice because, you know, I'm just like you. I have a job. I go to work, I pay my taxes, I mind my own business, and I don't want the government taking my money, I don't want the government regulating my business, I don't want the government telling me what kind of light bulbs to use, uh, what kind of car to drive, how much energy I could use, uh, what's right and what's wrong. I want to make those decisions. So basically, as the right winger, I came up with this website, and it's basically my views. I describe myself as a modern day, common sense, conservative. I call myself the right winger, but that's basically what I am. So what does that stand for? Smaller government, lower taxes, smaller regulations, less government involvement, but the power in the states. I believe that's the way the Constitution was, was written. Power goes with the states. The federal government had very limited powers. I don't know how this has gotten out of control, where today in 2011, the federal government is calling all the shots and telling the state governments what and what they cannot do. And that's why I see a lot of pushback right now. You see what's happening in Wisconsin and Ohio and Indiana and all these other states around the country. There's pushback because people are mad as hell and they're not going to take it anymore. And you'll, you could read more about it and see videos and see all the information that you need right here on the rightwinger.com. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the show.